I'm Jerry Carter, and I was the class of 1958, and I live in Dowling Park, Florida. I grew up in North Carolina, Jerry Lynn Harris, and I uh, had a pastor that had graduated from Aurora, um, Garland Pressler. And all through high school, he kept talking about Aurora and mentioning Aurora and thinking I should go there. And I checked a couple of other schools, but decided after I did, and when I uh, learned more about Aurora, I decided that was where I wanted to go. So uh, that, was, that was my decision, and it was a very good one. <laughs> Aurora was so different from what I was used to. Uh, it was quite a cultural change from this girl from Western North Carolina to go into the city. I was in Morganton, and that's a small town, and uh, we knew basically most of the people, and then to get up into the Midwest, we had never traveled to the Midwest. We had done limited traveling when I was young, but had never been up to that area. And uh, when I got there, uh, the first thing I noticed was I didn't talk like they did. <laughs> So I grew culturally, definitely, because I, I learned that there's a lot of people besides the ones that live in Western North Carolina. Um, I grew educationally. Uh, the, the motto, character and scholarship. And I felt like that the people there that I associated with were very good models of character and scholarship. And they provided a learning environment uh, for us. And I had some wonderful uh, leaders, teachers, helpers that helped me to grow uh, educationally. And I was able to get my teaching degree. I worked in the business office all four years. And so I learned bookkeeping and a, a lot of things going with the business office, which enabled me to work at FSU uh, in their office while Pomeroy was in graduate school. And so I was able to use that, that portion of my education. And then uh, as, as I went to graduate school, I felt very confident in going. I didn't find any classes that were any more difficult than my classes at Aurora. I certainly didn't find any more professors that were any better than the classes that I had at Aurora. So I felt very good about my education. And I grew spiritually. I felt that there was a way that that the, the teachers worked with you, that showed their love and their concern. They were good examples. They not only told you the things that should be done, they, they displayed them in their actions. And I felt like that they taught us to look at things and explore, and they opened a whole new world. Uh, we don't just take things that are told us, but we really try to find out what is right and what is best. And I had some wonderful Bible teachers. I was fortunate to get Dr. Stevens my freshman year. I guess I was fortunate. It just about threw me for a loop my first quarter, my freshman year, to get Dr. Stevens teaching New Testament. And all the people in the class were seniors. <laughs> there were about 40 or 50 seniors because they were waiting until he taught it because it was such an excellent class. But I felt those were three areas that I really grew in going to Aurora that I possibly would not have grown that way if I had gone to a state university or another one. It has just broadened my outlook on life. It's helped me to be more understanding and uh, uh, realize where people are coming from, that we're all not coming from the same place, um, that we need to be more understanding of people. We need to be able to get along with all all people and I think living in a dorm you learn that that you need to to be considerate of other people and I'll it's just broadened my horizons